Today, life for many urban American teenagers is a lot harder to navigate. Deciding who to hang out with or even who to play basketball with can make a difference. It can really be tough, especially when dealing with violence and drinking. Don't try to make the problem bigger where you can make it littler. You can talk to the person about it or, you know, just avoid it. 16-year-old Siobhan Harvey uses those words when talking to other teens about violent situations and alcohol. He's in school, stayed away from the wrong people, and now volunteers in his community. We aimed to uh, provide a brief intervention during the time that teens are in the emergency department to decrease their future violence and alcohol misuse over the next several months. We randomly assigned them to three conditions. One was a therapist brief intervention. The second was a um, brief intervention delivered exclusively by a computer with audio. And the third condition was a usual care control condition where they got a brochure. Doctors Maureen Walton and Rebecca Cunningham from the University of Michigan and co-authors conducted a randomized controlled trial at Hurley Hospital in Flint, Michigan. They studied more than 3,300 patients aged 14 to 18 years admitted to Hurley's emergency department between noon and 11 at night, seven days a week, from September 2006 to September 2009. The therapist brief intervention showed twice the reduction in peer violence, peer victimization, and violence consequences than the control. The computer intervention alone um, decreased uh, the teen's alcohol-related problems, such as um, missing school or problems with their family related to alcohol misuse for up to six months following an ER visit. The study appears in a theme issue on violence and human rights in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Thanks for answering the questions. Now I'd like to spend some time going over your answers. You ask open-ended questions as opposed to telling them what to do. What do you think about that? Um, they're, um, and then following that, you talk to them, you give them some tools for different situations. It's important as we talk to teens to help them realize that there are ways that, they're, that they're, it's possible to change behaviors and it's possible to stay out of and um, get out of risky situations that they may encounter. The findings of this study suggest that a 30-minute brief intervention can positively change these adolescents' behaviors. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.